Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So we got our hunting blind in today and this is how it came off the box. So hope there's nothing missing or damaged. So we're gonna do the little bit of an unboxing for you first and get this thing out. And uh, there'll be a few, these are instant for use. Okay, so uh, yeah, it looks like uh, I don't know how that box was split, but it split all right. Well, I guess it's not an overly bad thing, so let's see what's going on. Very nice. Well, that's a heavy duty carry bag for sure. All right, so we're going to move this over to where we're going to set it up and uh, see if we need to get any instructions to read. Probably will be, but uh, again, all this is instant for you guys, all right? All right, guys, my buddy Dave is here with me. Also, fellow hunter, he's done it before I haven't, so I get christened, which is kind of cool. So um, we're going to set this thing up and uh, see how big it really is. This is supposed to be the four-man version, so we'll see. corners to locate the center hub. Okay. Okay, where's the door? Oh, right here. in there. Go take a look, man. That's cool. Wow, that is a beast, guys. Awesome. There's no one-man chore to set up by himself, though. Mm. Silent blind tool. You want to open up the other ones here? <laughs> that is so cool. And these go up as well, so tops and bottoms both go up. Let me go grab my bow. I was going to stand up and shoot. Not with a recurve. You got to sit. I think you'll work with that. Aha, uh -huh, I've got that already licked. Okay, standing up with a recurve bow is not going to happen. Give me a second, though. Dave, talk to them. Plenty of room in here, that's for sure. Definitely fit at least four guys. Rifle hunting. Bow hunting, you're probably down to about two or three. Gotta talk louder than that, Dave. The camera's too far away. Hang on, let me bring the camera closer. <laughs> All right. I think that floor would cause more noise. I don't know. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Especially if you get in here and start walking. You want to zip it in? See? Might as well. 
We gotta give them an inside tour anyhow, so I'm gonna go finish the job we started. I'll clean up the ropes. Bird started. Now, if I can sit down and pull this, I'll be fine with a compound, too. Oh, yeah, I still got about a good six, seven inches of clearance. So that's all right, as far as a big bow goes. A compound, depending on how big your compound is, you may be able to stand up. Um, you may have to step back further which may be another thing too. I go in the middle. Yeah. You're not going to stand up with a no. bow this big. Not a chance. You lose your field of view when you stand up too. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go in and close all the windows up, please? Wow. Okay. So this is 360 degrees all the way around. Let's uh, close up the door for a minute there. So 360 all the way around. We can see out pretty much plain as day, more or less. Okay, I mean, what you're seeing in the camera is exactly what we see, except for us, it's a little bit brighter because cameras are cameras. So if we see that there's some deer coming by, we can very quietly move these down, move that up. Real nice and quiet so we don't spook. And uh, these windows go down quite a piece too. So they actually gave me a discount on this thing on Amazon. I'll give you the uh, main price there later when we go inside, but we wanted to get this done and the floor is in too. Um, let me just give you a bit of a view. There's the floor. As far as the quietness of the floor, it kind of depends, I guess, if you're wearing your shoes in here, which you probably should anyways, but um, even if you're not, it's, it's not bad. I mean, if you're really super quiet, shh, they're likely not going to hear nothing. Um, this strap, that's for... When it's all bundled up. Oh, that's the bundle strap? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And we have uh, supposed to be... Yep, right here. Okay. Um, let me see if I can angle this for you guys. So this is a little storage pocket. This material seems pretty thick too. Like it feels thick. Um, it is waterproof. And it looks like on the top we have just one little tiny spot where the camo is showing through the black. And I think that's just um, the black um, coating got missed. Because it's not a tear. There's no punctures. And it looks like we got one little tiny spot there, one there. So we've got a couple. But uh, other than that, it looks really good. I don't see anything that I would consider damage. Wow, that roof gets hot quick. Oh, yeah. So, but this is supposed to be um, all weather kind of deal. So. We're going to have to set it up probably a week or two before we start hunting and get it pegged in place. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not using those pegs. And the reason for 
is because they're on the short side. I already know the territory where we're going to be hunting, so does he. We need a lot more ground poundage in order. So if it's windy out and we're not at the blind, we don't want the blind blowing away on us either. So I have some dead Acmos arrows that are still the 28 and a half inch shaft to shaft. They're just empty shafts. We're going to use those for pegs and on a nice steep angle so that there is no way that this thing's going to get blown. But I'm also not going to put the strings tight, tight either because I don't want it to rip the, the thing apart either. So, you know, I'm going to give them a bit of play. But, uh, oh, it feels good having that breeze come in though. And this window is a straight drop down on the side here. And voila, there we go. That's a little cooler in here. But I like it. It's not bad for the money. There's another brand that it's the same kind of machine. Um, but um, it didn't... Well, it has some, a lot of really good reviews. There was over 2,000 purchases. But then I started looking at the size as well. And there was also a, a number of those... 23 or 2400 reviews there was quite a number of them that got really bad ones like there was some actual damage when they got it and some people i got somebody else's used piece of crap that they wrecked and that's not nice either so it's nice that this one was definitely untouched but um you know it's uh i think it's going to do the job we're definitely going to find out because this was just around 200 and some dollars with the tax shipping was free and uh, the, the difference, though, between the other one, other than the price and what I just mentioned, was the door on the other one was a silent door. And uh, so the no zipper, it uh, went in with hooks. But then we also didn't have 360 degrees either in that model. So it's kind of like, well, 270 or 360, let me think. I still have an issue with bears that I don't like them, so... <laughs> I want to see it coming at all angles, you know what I mean? But um, <clears throat> anyway, I think it'll do the job. I'm not going to give you any star rating at this point because we're going to have to do an update. But I am going to say right now for the 200 bucks, it's pretty good from the looks of things. It's definitely pretty good. Material is definitely very thick. Um, you know, it, the, the roof is definitely, it's, you can see the roof. It's solid black. There's no holes there. So, you know, it's definitely going to be keeping us dry in the rain. The floor is, by the way, also completely waterproof flooring. So even if we set this up on a really wet area, that water is not coming through this floor. So, but we're going to not do that anyway. It's going to set it up dry. So obviously, but uh, yeah, I think so far looks good. What do you think, Davey? Yeah, it's well worth it. Definitely. It, uh, it's one of the better models, so that's for sure. The whole 360 shooting and viewing is what's got me. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Placement oh. options for this is pretty much anywhere now. Yeah, I know, eh? This is going to be fun. Yeah. And there's lots of room for both of us and our gear in here. Yep. So that's no issue. You need to get one of these chairs. Actually, I'm looking at a 360 degree swivel one. Are you? Yeah. You're just lazy. <laughs> well, no. I got a bow and a gun that I'm probably going to be swinging around. Well, this is true. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, yeah, so for a three to four person machine, if you set it up right in here, I don't see why you couldn't fit four people definitely with guns in here for all four. Oh, yeah. But I think for someone like a gunner and a bow guy, the two of us, I think we're going to be just comfy in here uh, without any issues and all of our gear that we need to bring with us and haul through the bush. Yeah. So thankfully we get to take this out first to set it up before <laughs> everything else. Yeah. Because <laughs> this thing weighs about 22 pounds or so, so it's got some weight to her. Um, but at least we can carry the thing like a backpack or one person on each handle. So. All right, that's it. This has been a long video for you guys, I know. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, hopefully you did. Um, don't forget to comment below what you think. Um, you will find the Amazon link in the description below. I will put it there for the time being at least. Um, to, you know, if you're interested in this sort of a machine. It, I'm pretty impressed so far. 
So how well it withstands the weather, we're gonna definitely find that out for sure. So hopefully it's intact when it comes time to hunt. Otherwise we're gonna be laying on the ground waiting for the deer to come by and hopefully not spook them. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out either way. But uh, I don't think we're gonna have any issues, so we'll be okay. All right, guys, see ya.